are you doing? Well, right now I'm just changing the spark plugs, but we're going to get through this little case right here in order to be able to get to them. But the dealerships, they put them on to scare people from trying to do their own work. Oh, hey, why don't you get here? Well, I mean, since you're here, I might as well teach you how to do this your own, yourself. Alright, so now that we've got these off, spark plugs are right there. Very, very simple. Alright guys, so basically I just want to correct myself a little bit. The things that I said were spark plugs are actually the coil overs. Basically that is just what protects the spark plugs. So when you take out the coil over, it'll be kind of like a plastic tube. You're going to take that out. And now I have this special tool that came with the spark plug. It has a magnet on it. You put that down the stem and then it'll take the spark plug and it'll take it out very safely so you want to make sure that there's no crud around the holes because if that gets into the engine it'll be very bad and dangerous for your car and you do not want that to happen so just make sure that there's no crud near the spark plug hole because that will go into the cylinder and mess up the engine that is what i'm doing right now i'm just checking around the coilover Alright, so now this is going to get a little boring, but so you're going to use your ratchet and slowly unscrew the bolt that is on top of your coilover. So right now I'm just having a little bit of difficulty because this is my first time doing spark plugs and my dad's helping me a lot during this process. But so I end up using my fingers for a lot of it. So I will demonstrate this first one and then I will speed up the next one for you guys just so that way you're not just watching me do the same thing over and over again. Okay, so my dad was really confusing me. So anyway, so I pulled the whole thing out and I laid, then I just laid it to the side. So now I'm, I'm taking that tool I was talking to you guys about earlier, and it just has a magnet on it. Put that down the hole, move it around until you feel it magnetize. And right there, I just had a bit more of a technical difficulty. Alright, so now that I have the socket wrench that I'm using to unscrew the spark plug, I am now able to slowly and carefully undo it. Now you're going to take the ratchet off and you're just going to unscrew the rest of it by hand. And there you guys go. That is the first spark plug. So as you can see, it looks really old and disgusting. You want to know why it looks like that? Because it is really old. This car is from 2005 and it has been in there for 15 years. And just a little interesting fact about this. I had started the car up right before I was going to work on the engine. So now all the metal pieces are very hot, especially the spark plugs. So, and I just touched it in the video. And we already gapped all of the spark plugs. So 
Just make sure you do that. So just make sure that you do that before you start it. So it should look like that. You'll have a nice gap in between like that metal piece that in the part that actually is the spark plug. So put it in nice and gently because if you bend the tip, you're going to ruin the gap that you had just created. And okay, so now once you get it in the hole, you are just going just straight down. And you're going to want to make sure that your ratchet is off and then you're just going to screw it by hand. Now, you see it like moving around a lot, but that is just because of the fact that like the piece where the magnet is, it's it moves in a 360 degree angle. So the one that you have might be straight and if it moves around a lot, that would be very bad. So once you get it in, now you're going to put your ratchet back in and... Now you're going to just use your torque wrench, and as you see here, you don't want to go too fast, and make sure that you have it very tight. Don't over tighten it, but make sure it is just as tight as it was when you removed it, because I might not be the best person at doing cars, but I would assume that the people that made the car know what they're doing, so I'll just kind of follow their steps. Then you put your coil over back in. Don't you don't really need to put the bolt back in. You do not want to put the bolt back in until you finish doing the rest of them. And now I will just speed up over the rest. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So once you're once you're done, you're just going to want to just start screwing these back in. Ten more. Uh, nine, I think. Did you push them down onto the spark plug? Yes. Because they seem kind of loose. Were they loose like that before? Once we like started to undo these, yeah. Sure, all the spark plugs are tight. Yes. Even that second one. Yes. That I all told you not to. Okay. Yes. Already tightened all, except the last one. Push down on that black thing. Push down as hard as you can. Too tight, it's plastic. Yes, sir. Yeah, you want to just start finger tightening that? Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Somebody go in the car and start it. Alright. Um, close the hood? No.
guys. Well, that's how to change your spark plugs. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up, comment down below, tell me what you guys thought. Make sure to subscribe, turn, turn on your bell notifications so you know every time I upload a new video. And anyway, guys, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.